fucking stunk. What's good, bro? Hey, we out here. Oh shit! <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> hey, what's up? Yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. Well, in order to answer that question, we gotta take things all the way back to the beginning. November of 2018, when the whole thing started. I feel like K Kodaka thinks he's sicker than he actually is. But when he, he actually, when he starts yeah. making original yeah. music, it's like, stop. That little conversation right there sparked everything. So there you have it, Kodaki is making a diss track on KSI. Kodaki, Kodaki, Kodaki is secure. I still beat you at a FIFA game. But JJ, now that you're back to doing FIFA, Let's go, 1v1. One, one one. I'm fucking down, bro. Just for the record, I haven't even played FIFA 19. And I know I'm still going to whip your ass. What the fuck? Oh my god! The fuck? I'm you took good. a W in the shit game. Alright, bro. And maybe one day we could even link up. Oh shit, that'd be pretty crazy. That will be pretty crazy. So then some more time passed. Randolph got me to feature on his song for the New Age album. And, you know, one day he just hit me up asking me when I'd be in the UK to, you know, film a video for the track. And I told him I happened to have a vacation scheduled from the 18th to 23rd of June in London, which coincidentally was the exact same date they had planned a show for their new age tour in London, June 20th. So I said, fuck it. I'm performing. I packed up my bags, flew over all the way across the seas and made my way to the venue to be the surprise guest at the London show. Here's what happened. What's good, bro? Hey! We out here. Oh, shit! <laughs> Yo! <laughs> hey, what's up, man? What's up, bro? You wanna fight? Let's do it. Should we do the fight? You bring your gloves? Yeah, man. Let's just go. Nah, I'm yeah. kidding, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'll fuck you up, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Then we just talked and bantered a little bit off camera. You know, everything was pretty chill, but I haven't really told you much about the actual plan for the night or the performance. So here's Randolph explaining how we're gonna do it. All right, so for those who are watching right now, the surprise for this show in London is the fact that we've got Kodeka coming out. Um, so the way we're gonna do it is we're gonna do Aries, and then as Aries like starts, JJ's gonna start rapping it. JJ's DJ will cut it, uh, and JJ's gonna be like, what's, what's going on, what's, what's going on? And then Kodeka's insecure track will play, Everyone's out with the fork, and then he comes out, kills it, and then we do roll with that. Boom. Yeah. Obviously, this wasn't gonna happen, by the way. This, this, just, just worked. Hey, JJ, I'm so sorry you're angry. Hairline's so fucked up, you're barber. Yeah, this is so weird. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, here I am, just chilling backstage. I'm 18 and making main stages. You were 18 and a virgin in the basement making main stages. <laughs> but after waiting a few hours, it was finally time for me to go on stage. KSI started performing Aries, and I was ready. And all of a sudden, right when I'm meant to come out and perform my song, it just doesn't play. You see it right here, I'm fast forwarding through it, but literally for like two full minutes, I'm just standing there like, oh shit, this is my worst nightmare. The song is broken and it just, it just won't play. One of the behind the scenes tech people, they come up to me and they're like, mate, your song isn't working, we're just gonna have to move on. So I'm like, what? I hear roll the dice playing and I just, I just wait for my verse to come on, for me to finally come on. So uh, yeah. <laughs> And the funny thing is, during Roll the Dice, the whole time, my music video from Insecure is just playing on the big screen in the back, and everybody in the crowd is like, what the fuck, why is his music video playing and he's not even there? Um, I didn't know what to do, so I just came out during the middle of Roll the Dice, and... This is what happened. <laughs> I'm gonna take speed, I'm gonna take speed
And as you can hear right there, the crowd started chanting for Insecure. And obviously the song wasn't working. So Randolph came up to me. He was like, bro, do you, do you know it off the top? Can you do an acapella? And I was like, oh shit. I'll just, I'll just do it acapella. I know it's like not ideal, but you know, at least, at least the crowd will get something. So, uh, I went out and, uh, did this. Hey, fuck it. The audio broke, but let's do this shit acapella. Let's go. And let's go. One, two, three. Jenny, Jenny, I'm so sorry you're angry. Caroline's so fucked up. Your barber is taking key. I'm 18, making main stages. You were 18 and a virgin in the basement, making your brain face. And I'm giving them to the man when I want to say, you know what I'm So yeah, I guess it worked out in the end. But yeah, if you want to see me kill a show where the audio actually works, make sure you go to the link below if you live in LA or Chicago because I'm performing there in the middle of July. So just, just check that out right now because tickets, they're going to be gone. But yeah, overall, how would you say, how would you say my scale from 1 to 10? That was 10, man. Like, well, hold on. Apart from the technical difficulties, it was uh -huh. 10. Yeah, it was like, 10, man. And you brought it back a couple of times. You brought it back a couple of times. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, well, I, no, I, I was a little scared when I was like, nothing's working. He's, the guy just came up, he was like, he's like, mate, it's not working. Just cut it, you're gone. <laughs> <laughs> he was waiting backstage the whole time. Like, we didn't want the fans to know he was here. He was waiting backstage the entire time. It worked out. Time. It worked out. We started saw some nice fans, bro. Yeah. My voice is kind of gone. Alright, bro. Well, kids, that's the end of our story today. The beef between KSI and Quadeca was squashed, and they lived happily ever after. Isn't that wonderful? Make sure you subscribe to this channel and like the video. PEACE!